Hey everyone, Ultra Microscopic Gaming Scientist here. What's up? Hope you're doing well, guys. So, guys, in this video, I want to share you a thing that I'm a sto scientific stories that I'm being reading from different websites from past two days. So I find them interesting, I, and I want to share them with you guys. So I'm going to be making a series of these videos on scientific stories, and you'll find these videos interesting. Hang on. So let so. To be a good start, I, I want to start with the story of Dolly. So, in 1997, a 7-month-old sheep named Dolly became a celebrity. You want to know why? Listen. Dr. Lan Wilmot, a Scottish scientist, announced it to the world that he had created using a procedure called cloning. If you are wondering how they cloned a sheep, let me say you. Scientists took other cells from Dolly's mother. So. Other is something uh, like a mammary gland or a milk producing gland in uh, dairy animals such as cows and sheep etc. So they let the cells multiply and then they stopped the process when they had divided enough. They took egg cell from the second sheep and removed the nucleus from that sheep, from that cell. They put, they put other cells next to the egg cell without nucleus and joined them using electricity. The egg cell now contained all other cells DNA. The egg cell divided until it developed into an embryo. An embryo is early stage of an animal before it has been born or hatched. This embryo was placed inside the third sheep. Five months later, the medical miracle or the scientific miracle Dolly was born. She, she was pretty good and healthy. So it took scientists 277 tries to succeed in cloning Dolly. To make her, Dr. Wilmot used a complicated method called nuclear transfer. So if you don't know what's nuclear transfer, let me say you. So it's a method in which they remove nucleus from one cell and transfer or move it into a different cell. So an, an, an animal consists uh, of one mother but Dolly has three mothers actually. And Dolly and some animals and all animals get half of its DNA from its father and half of its DNA from its mother. But Dolly got all of its DNA from its mother, which is nice. So I got a doubt while seeing Jurassic movie, so let me share that doubt with you. Can we bring back extinct dinosaurs using the process of cloning? So if you got, if you get the same doubt, listen to this. So in the in the movie Jurassic Park, a scientist brings extinct dinosaur back into life by cloning. DNA found uh, by DNA found in ancient dinosaurs bled such as T-Rex. Uh, which was a, which was one of the last large dinosaurs to roam on Earth, which lived about 65 million years ago. Uh, we have never found such a preserved DNA this old, and and will never probably will find them because they're extremely rare. I think we can't find them. I think it's not possible to clone extinct dinosaurs. So if you're wondering what are what are the other animals that have been cloned, so let me say you cows. Some cows produce much more milk than others. So by cloning these cows, farmers could make milk more quickly and cheaply. So by cloning animals, it means they have some benefits. So mice, sci scientists use special mice to study diseases like cancer. Cloning them would help scientists research more, more diseases. Monkeys, to develop new medicines for humans, scientists use animals that are close enough uh, and identical as possible to humans. Clone monkeys could help improve development of these medis uh, medicines that are uh, curable for other diseases. So, some many people, however, strongly oppose the cloning of animals, no matter what benefits they have. In their view, cloning is messing with nature and should be against the law of God. So, guys, I feel cloning is a good and and it's good process to increase. Uh, and it's and it will be a scientific miracle according to me. So I don't know what you guys feel. So so comment down in the comments below what you guys feel. Should cloning be a process for good or bad, or it is bad. So guys, at last but not the least, don't share. Uh, don't forget to share this with your family and friends to make them know about the cloning and the miracle sheep dolly. So guys, uh, at last but not the least, uh, thanks for watching my videos. And subscribe to my channel and like this video if you do like uh, like this video. So guys, let's meet in the next video with another interesting story. Okay, bye.